Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, Contract Math, Section 9.5, 2014 edition, Cross Sections of Three-Dimensional Figures, Extension. Pause while you write Section 9.5, 2014 edition, Extension, in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's extension objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is describe cross-sections of three-dimensional figures. Copy the following key terms, definitions, and examples exactly as they appear into your notebook. A cross-section is a two-dimensional shape formed by the intersection of a plane and a solid. The intersection of a plane and the cone is a circle. A plane is a flat surface that extends without end in all directions. Today we'll be starting on page 389 in your math textbook. Let's start at the top where it has the discussion about the cross-section. It says, consider a plane slicing through a solid. The intersection of the plane and the solid is a two-dimensional shape called a cross-section. For example, the diagram shows that the intersection of the plane and the rectangular prism is a rectangle. Example 1, describing the intersection of a plane and a solid. Describe the intersection of the plane and the solid. Letter A, if you look at how the plane is intersecting the solid, it is going to be a triangle, so you can see the blue area is intersected by the plane and that leaves the purple area which is a triangle. So when you describe it all you have to do is tell what shape it is. And then letter B is another rectangular prism and so the intersection is a rectangle. And the intersection of the third shape is going to be a triangle. That's a triangular prism. Moving on to page 389 and example 2, let's take a look at the top of the page where it says example 1 shows how a plane intersects a polyhedron. As a review from 5th grade, a polyhedron is a three-dimensional figure in which all of the surfaces are polygons. Now we're going to consider the intersection of a plane and a solid having a curved surface such as a cylinder or a cone. As shown, a cone is a solid that has one circular base and one vertex. So let's look at example two, describing the intersection of a plane and a solid. Describe the intersection of the plane and the solid. So letter A, the plane intersects parallel to the bases so that the intersection is a circle. And in letter B, the plane intersects from the vertex down to the base so the intersection is a triangle. So it's really important when you look at these to understand in which direction the plane is intersecting the solid. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete practice problems 1 through 3 and 8 and 9 below. They're also on pages 338 and 339 of your math textbook. Show your work and be prepared to share during our next class. Please remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson. You must complete your exit slip, Come to our next class prepared with the journal pages or other work from the flipped lesson completed and be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have for the teacher and always have a good attitude. We'll see you next time in class.